Good morning. So yesterday I got this question. Is there an easier way to import VDBs into Unreal without spending hours setting up materials and heterogeneous volumes? And actually, yes, there is. With Zebra VDB's new Indie license, which is free, uh, you can basically drag and drop a VDB into Unreal Engine and have the plugin set up everything automatically without you having to tweak any shaders or materials. Almost a one-click solution. So today I'm going to show you the full workflow, so let's get to it. Okay, so first off, what even is a VDB? So a VDB is a, basically a 3D voxel grid format used to store volumetric data. Uh, data for simulations like smoke, uh, fire or clouds, for example. Uh, and uh, you can export a VDB from tools like Embergen, Houdini or Blender, and then bring them into game engines like Unreal or Unity or uh, compositors for VFX. So you can bring uh, VDBs into Unreal Engine and traditionally uh, you must import it uh, then create and assign a heterogeneous volume, uh, create maybe a custom shader, tweaks, uh, scattering, uh, absorption, em emission values and stuff like that and then iterate uh, until you make it uh, look good. And there's quite a few steps. It's not a difficult process but it takes a while uh, to get it looking right. So there is definitely room for uh, uh, improvement in this area, which uh, Zebra VDB fixes. So in order to download and install Zebra VDB, you want to head over to Fab Marketplace and download the free plugin. Then hit View in Launcher and it will take you to your uh, Unreal Epic Launcher. Search for Zebra in the Fab library and then install it to your engine. I have already installed it to 5.6, so choose your engine version here. Then restart or open up Unreal Engine, and by default it should be enabled. You can uh, search for Zebra in the uh, plugins and have a look. If it's not enabled, uh, simply hit enable and restart the engine. Next, you want to head back to their website and sign up for a free personal account and you will get a license key, which will input in Unreal Engine. So type in your email here and you will get the uh, key. Copy and paste the key from your email. Then you want to paste it into the project settings. Once again, search for Zebra. And then here under license key, you want to uh, paste the key that you got on in your email. A small window pops up saying that the activation is completed and you can now drag and drop VDBs into Unreal Engine. Right, so first we're going to test one of the uh, VDBs that Zebra provides uh, free on their website. So I'm going to download this ground explosion Let's download and then wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, you can simply drag and drop it into your content browser. And then from the content browser, you can drag and drop it into the viewport. And it will automatically set up all of the shaders and materials for you. No need for extra steps. It's literally that simple. From here in the details panel, you will have some settings exposed, uh, which you can tweak to art direct your VDB. I'm going to go over this in detail in the next step. All right, so let's import our own VDBs from uh, Embergen. I've uh, exported a VDB sequence from Embergen. You want to go up to Tools, then Zebra VDB, and import a VDB sequence. Under File Path, you want to find the VDB that you exported or downloaded for that matter. Then you can also select a custom path if you want to place it somewhere special in your content browser. You can tweak the quality settings if you want a higher or a lower compression on the VDB. Zebra VDB is a compression tool first and foremost. The shaders are just one massive bonus to that. 
So hit compress and it will import your VDB sequence. It could take a few minutes depending on the size of the VDB. Once it's done though, it's the same steps as the sample VDB. Simply drag and drop it into the viewport and all of the settings are set up by default. You can just art direct it if you want, but no need to set up uh, the heterogeneous volumes, uh, creating shaders or anything like that. It's just basically a drag and drop and it's uh, ready to go. In the details panel, you can access some neat tools such as uh, this tool here, which lets you uh, crop if you have the smoke going into places that you don't want perhaps, or uh, you didn't do a fall off in uh, Embergen or stuff like that. Which is pretty neat. And then you can also change stuff like the directional light intensity and the flame scale, for example and art direct it to however you want it to look. Change the density scale perhaps. Finally, we're going to have a look at the main feature of Zebra VDB, which is the compression uh, feature. So if you export the Zebra VDB file, we will compare the before and after. And as you can see here, the original is almost 10 gigabytes, which is massive. And the compressed Zebra VDB file is just above 200 megabytes, which is a crazy amount less. So super nice of Zebra VDB to provide this tool free for all Unreal Engine users if you use the Indie license. As always, if you have questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you liked this video and so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.